I hope everyone is doing great. In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to download MODIS land cover data from Earth Explorer USGS. Now in the search tab, type in Earth Explorer. Now hit enter. Now you can see the first link earthexplorer.usgs.gov. So this is the official website for Earth Explorer. I'll be sharing this uh, link in the description. Please do check it out. So this is the home page. In order to download any sort of data, we, we must uh, log in. So this is the login page. If you are already having an account, please uh, input the username and password. If you don't have an account, come down. You can find the option create new account. Very simple steps for creating an account. I have already made a video on it. I'll be giving this uh, video link in the description. Please do check it out if you have any doubts. Now directly hit the button sign in. After successfully signing in, the first step will be choosing our area of interest. So you can see on the left hand side, you can directly search place by typing the place name. If you are located or if your area of interest is located in US, US features, you can select US features and type in the name. If your area of interest is located outside the US, then we have to select world features and we have to give the name. So here I'm going to type in a Bhuvaneshwar, which is located in India. Now I'm going to hit the button show automatically the results will be showing below you can see three results has come up so i am interested in the bhuvaneshwar which is located in india so i just going to click on the bhuvaneshwar now you can see in the map also the location has been displayed so this is bhuvaneshwar if you just come down you can see here this is the lat long of Bhuvaneshwar. You can edit this. Uh, if you just click on this X mark, it will be automatically disappearing. And if by directly uh, right left clicking on the map, you can place or draw polygon or any shape. Like this, you can also select the area of interest you can delete the points now after this come down you can see the date range so I'm going to specify the date range over here so I'm going to select Jan and I'm going to select it from 2001 And I'm going to select the date range up to Jan 2024. You can also customize it if you want it in all months, you can choose accordingly. In this case, this is not required. And next, hit the button data sets. So, here we are going to select the data sets for downloading the MODIS land cover data. You can see the option NASA LPD WAC collections and you can find MODIS land cover version 6.1 click on this plus button and you can see uh, three options is available three kind of data is available so I'm going to choose MODIS yeah so this also requires a NASA Earth data login credentials so plus ok now let us have a view of this data what this data is about so you just have to click in this i button you will be getting the information about the data which you are interested in so you can see here this is acquired from uh, 
Terra and Aqua combined moderate resolution imaging spectral radiometer that is MODIS and this is the land cover type version 6.1 So this data is resolution is around 500 meters. If you are interested for a larger area, you can just use this data, which is really useful. Now let's come down and you can see the option product quality and you can see user guide. Click on the user guide. So the user guide has been loaded. Now just come down in uh, page number 9 you can see the classifications so what is value 1 it is a uh, evergreen needle leaf forest likewise each uh, value represents a land cover type so just keep this aside now just uh, come back to the earth explorer now hit the button results so yeah we got our data sets so you can see here in the result uh, three pages are there and the day you can see the results the first is uh, 2022 the data is up to 2022 Jan month now if you click on the last you can see the oldest data so the oldest data is somewhere between uh, 2001 2002 it is starting from 2001 2002 if you click the previous you can search from uh, it is from top to bottom that is uh, latest to old so now you can see the images which is available so it is available from the year 2001 to 2022 so i am just interested in the data uh, which is uh, the year 2011 so let us have a look at it by clicking on this show browse overlay now you can see here how it looks like you can check the metadata will be getting uh, some information from this so let me close this and hit the button download and it is available in HDF format so which is also can be opened in ArcGIS so hit the button download yeah you can see here now it is asking me asking me the earth data logging credentials so open a new tab here type in nasa earth data just include a word login and now hit the button search now you can see earth data login click the link i'll be also giving this link in the description so we don't have an account so simply hit the button register so here we need to provide some informations so we are going to provide our password so i have given the username and password you can just the Check the uh, requirements for username and password. Now come down. We need to provide some information. So here we are going to put the email. So here put the email ID. Select the country. Affiliation. User type and you can choose the study area as well. Now, after doing so, 
Yes, I am interested in Maris and ESA Sentinel data. Yes. Yes. Then click on I am not a robot. Now hit the button register for Earth data. So we have successfully created an account. Now just go back. It will be prompted over here. So once again hit the button cancel. Let me close this. Go to the Earth Explorer. Now hit the button download. Now let us provide the username and password here. So before doing so, uh, we need to just confirm our registration. So here you can see no reply. Welcome to EOS data login user. To complete the registration, please begin by activating your profile. Please activate your profile. So you can see here the profile has been activated. If you want, you can just log in. So now you can just type in your password and hit the button sign in. This is authorizing our login. So you can see here automatically the download will be started. So it is asking me where to save the file. I'll just click on the raster and hit the button save. And you can see we have successfully downloaded the data. So this is how the data looks like after download. Let us open it in the RGS. Now hit the button add data. Let me browse to the downloaded file. So this is the file which we have downloaded. Click on add. So I'm going to select the first type type one and click OK. Click on yes for building pyramids. Okay. Here let us uh, choose the transformation. Okay. Okay. Close. So you can see the view of the data. Now just uh, right click on here and go to the option data data frame properties. And here you can see it has been automatically in WGS 1984. So you can see the value is ranging from 1 to 17. Let me show you the user guide which we have downloaded previously you can see value 1 represents evergreen needle forest likewise mixed forest means the value 5 will be mixed forest open shrubs is value 7 like this you can easily classify now you can see the search option here so select it and here type in reclassify now hit the button search so you could find reclassify spatial analysis tool analysis tool now we are going to input this downloaded data so after inputting you can just see only four classes available now hit the button unique and you can see now it has been updated we just have to rename this uh, new values to match with the old values 1 2 3 4 so likewise you just have to match it with the old values
like this you have to match it so let me fast it now you can see that I have matched it with the old value you can choose uh, any uh, locations for saving this file so I have just to leave it to default you can save it anywhere now hit the button OK to complete the process so now you could see we have reclassified it and we got the values unique values so let me bring in the classification you can see uh, these are a uh, forest evergreen deciduous mixed forest from 1 to 5 so you can change the color accordingly so here let me put in dark green for evergreen forest and choose a lighter green color this is mixed forest you can also rename it it's quite easy just copy this file copy the value name come back to ArcGIS double click on this number you can easily rename it like this you can do because we have already given the name for each value so you can classify it accordingly so let us go for the next six is closed uh, herb lands open herb lands so let us fix the color accordingly you can see urban and build up lands is 13 so I'm going to select red color for it you can see the change and cropland is 14 let me choose the color to be orange then uh, yeah permanent uh, snow ice let me choose white color for it so I don't think any snow lands is available here maybe on the top you can see the snow lands water body is 17 you can see how it has been updated barren land is 16 so like this you can do and rename it easily so if you are having any other doubts in this please do ask in the comment section i will be answering to your questions thanks for watching